Hello. I love to travel and planning trips for myself and my family is one of my hobbies. However, I was finding it um, kind of difficult or um, more difficult than it needed to be when I was planning trips because I was having to use a bunch of different apps like a budget app, my Google Maps, and I, as I've started to use Salesforce, thought that it would be a good solution to my issues when travel planning. So I created my own travel planning app. You can see right here my home page dashboard for my app, where I show the number of trips planned, my expenses by type, including airfare, hotel, rental car, and the amount remaining to be paid for the trip. Over here, I have a nice little quote of the day, inspiring quote that um, rotates each day. Um, it, it uses a flow. This is a pre-configured flow that I found on the app exchange. So here's my custom object called trips. And I'm going to, clip, going to click on my summer Michigan trip where you, I can find the details. I um, included the following trip information, the trip name, the purpose of the trip, trip start date, and trip end date. Now for this, I wanted some validation rules. So I made it so that the trip end date cannot be sooner than the trip start date. I also have total expenses, total amount remaining, and the destination. Now, total expenses and total amount remaining are actually roll-up summary fields that um, come from the um, expenses. I made an expenses custom object, so those are rolling up from that object. Over here on the related tab, you'll see the expense items, and I made a custom pick list so that I'm able to choose the expense type, like airfare, hotel, rental car, meals, activities, or other. And then I choose what trip the expense is part of. Now these, this expense object is in a master detail relationship with the trips object, with the expense object being the detail and the trip object being the master. I also have included here um, how much I've paid so the amount that the expense is and then how much I've already paid. Sometimes you need like a down payment. Um, then I have the contacts that, um, so for these contacts, I want to be, wanted to be able to have it relate to a trip. So like for, we're using dollar car rental for this trip. So I included a field, a lookup summary field, so that I could look up and find um, which trip this contact relates to. I found a really cool app from the App Exchange called Map Plotter, and I'm able to use addresses from my events custom object and plot them on a map so that when I'm looking to see you know what we want to do each day I can see which events are located near each other so I clicked on Michigan I'm gonna um, select all of these um, locations in Michigan that I want to see and then I'm better able to um, find a route of where we want to go each day I can click on the different locations, find the addresses, what the weather's like, and find places to eat or places to stay near that location. Next I have the calendar tab. And um, for the calendar, I have it linked to the trip object so that I can track my trip dates. So if I go over here to July, 
I can see here in yellow are my trip dates, and then in blue are the different events. Now, um, in order to have clean data, I made some other validation rules. For example, um, for the contact mailing state, I made sure it's a valid two-character abbreviation, as well as the mailing country. I made sure that um, for the contacts, the US phone has 10 digits, etc. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tour of my travel planning app. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.